Today's outcrop of the day is a beautiful example of spherolytic rhyolite, with some of the biggest spherules I've ever seen. Spherulites form in volcanic rocks that have a glassy matrix, usually with an acid composition like rhyolite. Volcanic glass, or obsidian, is really a supercooled liquid that cooled too quickly for mineral grains to grow in their normal crystalline form. In that supercooled liquid state, tiny impurities in the glass can trigger crystallisation. New mineral grains, usually quartz and orthoclase feldspar, grow quickly in all directions away from the nucleus. You can see the radiating mineral fibres in this thin section of a rhyolite in cross-polarised light. Changes in temperature and other conditions along the way can result in textural banding like we see here. It's a useful texture because it can tell us quite a lot about the rock, even when it's been strongly altered to clay like this one. First, we know it probably had a rhyolitic composition with a glassy matrix. We also know it must have cooled quickly, and since it cooled quickly, it was probably extruded as a lava flow on the surface of the Earth. The resulting distinctive texture could also be a useful marker horizon when we're mapping the geology and trying to sort out the volcanic stratigraphy.